Hi, Seth Bilizarian. A few words on soup and salt. Many of my patients who I talk with about salt, particularly patients who need to be very strict about salt intake, and those are patients who have congestive heart failure as a main problem, often th say that they don't eat any kind of salt. And one thing that is often missing is that there's a lot of salt in processed foods. We talk about cold cuts, spaghetti sauces, and soup. I keep this can of soup on my desk and patients will often ask, are you promoting this for use? Are you recommending that? Is that your lunch? And all of those are not the case. I'm not promoting it and I'm not recommending it. One thing that can be confusing with, uh, with uh, products like this is there's a heart on it. So many patients assume that this is heart healthy. Patients who have congestive heart failure are recommended to restrict their sodium intake to 2000 milligrams per day. So I use the can as a nutritional quiz to help patients understand about this. And if you'd like to review the quiz, there's a link below to the soup can quiz. This is something that I found to be very valuable to help patients understand. So I asked patients, how much salt is there if you ate this can of soup? And patients will look on the back and many of my older patients will say that they have difficulty even reading the label just because of the size. A second uh, point that often comes up is that they say that, that salt is not listed as a nutritional substance on the nutrition label. In fact, sodium is listed, not salt. So that's another important piece of information. Another piece of information is patients don't know the 2,000 milligrams limit. This particular can, for instance, says sodium 410 milligrams. But what can be confusing is that's 410 milligrams per serving. And many patients don't know that they need to look over to see how many servings there are in this can. So this can has two and a half servings, so 410 times two and a half is about 1,000 milligrams, which is quite high for a patient who is important to limit to 2,000 per day. So these are some examples of, of areas where people can become tripped up by either not knowing the amount of sodium, how to read the nutrition label, or how to restrict the sodium. But there are some foods that are really have very high amounts of sodium, and I mentioned them earlier, I'll mention them again, spaghetti sauce, processed foods like canned vegetables or canned soups, processed meats, particularly cold cuts, but certainly foods that people buy in restaurants like Chinese food or Italian food are also huge sources of sodium. So be very careful because unlike other dietary recommendations we make, like sugar for diabetics or, or fatty foods for people who are overweight, the problem with taking too much salt for a congestive heart failure patient is not that it will be a problem down the road, but it could be a, an immediate problem. It could tip a patient over into congestive heart failure requiring hospitalization in the next one or two days. So this is why we really are intent at trying to help people restrict the amount of sodium. Take the soup can quiz, check out the nutrition label in the link below about how to use the nutrition labels for future use and limit yourself to 2,000 milligrams per day. Thanks.